think anybody that lives around Sefton or works in the area will know how much chaos we've had um, due to excess visitor numbers coming um, beyond what we can cope with for car parking. If we've got queues going all the way back to Switch Island and people struggling to find parking spaces when they arrive, they've been parking within residential areas, blocking driveways and, and they're unhappy and of course so are our residents. So it's something we felt we really needed to look into and look at trying to welcome people to our beautiful coast as best we can. The Sefton coast is internationally protected as a fantastic habitat that hosts many many rare species of birds, plants, flora and fauna and we've got to bear all that in mind as well with everything that we do. We're working with a whole host of multi-agencies from the police, RNLI, and Coast Guard, the British Transport Police, many many partners that we're working with weekly. So things contained within the plan include, as you can see behind us, we've reopened the Ainsdale Beach car park and as you can see today you know, we've got a good few hundred cars here right now that otherwise would have been parked in local neighbouring streets um, causing a nuisance. Um, we've introduced uh, temporary toilet facilities, portaloos, um, in Ainsdale and down in Crosby. And we're putting security on over an evening to keep an eye on things as well. We've also been looking at our cleaning and cleansing um, regimes. So there's skips on each of the five main entrances to the coast for people to dispose of their waste as they leave. And we've brought in additional staffing as well. So we've got staff from leisure centres that are currently closed down here and helping us out. Um, we're doing an appeal with volunteers and getting uh, additional support from them. Um, and other, other agencies as well, like the youth engagement team, are coming down here on a road to now of an evening. But if people do come, um, do so responsibly. Do park responsibly, think about the neighbours, do take your litter home, don't light barbecues, don't light fires. You know, this is a nature reserve, um, internationally important. And when it's such dry weather like this, there is fire risks. If you're gonna come, do so, we hope you have a lovely time, but do, do think about where you are and, and how you're acting, and be safe.